Hey guys, Brenda New Productions here, and today I'm going to talk about, uh, this is lesson part 8, and it's going to be about how to build your project and how to enter your assembly information. What is building your project? Well, when you uh, open up any application, you'll notice there's a standalone.exe file. Um, that's what you're going to get when you build the project, and you also need to enter your assembly information for the about box we created in lesson 7. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is go to the project menu first, and then press Tutorial Notepad Properties. Once you do this, you're going to select. Oh, wait for it to load. You're going to see all this information you could change. I'm just going to leave that the same. And then you see Assembly Information. Now I'm just going to enter all this. Um, this is a tutorial we've been working on. Company. Brandonio Pro Productions Product Tutorial Notepad Copyright Brand Brandon uh, and then you can empty enter the version I'm gonna say this is version zero zero five. So zero zero five. That's it for the assembly information. So the title is what your Application is called description, yeah, company, yeah, product. What the application is called again. Copyright, you're just going to want to enter your name before or after the copyright symbol. I'm not really sure, I forget. And then the version, um, the assembly version and file version, um, you can make sure that these are the same. I would. So this is 1.0.5.0. So, so it's 0 0.0.5.0. .0. Okay? No wait, 0 0.050, 0 0.050. I, I don't even know. I think I'm confusing myself. <laughs> so once you're done with that, you could just press OK, OK, and you could also enable Visual XP or XP Visual Styles. Uh, save my shot. Yeah, you want want all that, OK. So once you're done with that, you simply want to go to going to go to the Build menu. It's like Build Tutorial Notepad. Okay, so then after that, after you file, save all, and then build tutorial notepad, you're going to head over to where you saved it to, which mine is My Documents, Visual Studio 2008, Projects, Tutorial Notepad, click on this, and then you're going to want to navigate to the bin folder, then release. And if you notice, here's the tutorial notepad that you created. So we're just going to open up the tutorial notepad. And then we press, uh, all the commands are here. We press help, about, and you notice tutorial notepad, version 0 0.0.5.0, copyright Brandon. Whoops, where did it go? This tutorial we've been working on. It's exactly what I typed in the assembly information. So now, if you want to give this program to somebody, you're just going to want to take this, copy it, post it in chat, zip it, upload it, whatever you want to do. All you need is this exe file. That's all you're going to need. Okay, so thanks for watching this tutorial. I know it was kind of short, but it was a simple concept. Um, please rate, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching.